Hey guys, have you ever wondered what the difference is between Dia and Company and Stitch Fix? Well, I got both of my boxes this week, so I'm going to do an unboxing of both at the same time to show you the similarities and differences. So stick around if you want to check out what I got inside my boxes, all while having a whole lot of fun. And all of a sudden the cicadas have decided to sing me a song. I am outside today because Mikey's inside taping some quickie videos that we're hoping to share with you soon. And thank you to the cicadas that just stopped singing to me. Um, but he asked me if I could pop outside and take advantage of some of the sunlight and show you um, a couple of the subscription clothing services boxes that I received. I lucked out and got both my Dia and Company and my Plus Size Stitch Fix at the same time. So I thought it might be fun for us to open them both up and kind of see what both of them have to offer if you were considering one or the other services. So without further ado, um, if you are not familiar with clothing subscription services, check out some of my other videos. I've done t at least a couple Dia and Company. By the time this comes out, I may have shared another Stitch Fix. Um, I'm not sure if they're going out in order now or not, but I try to tape each time I get a box. Um, but the gist of it is that, um, that you get a box in the mail. You can get once a, one a month, or you can get them more often if you choose, or you can tell them that you'd like them less often. There is a styling fee that you can be reimbursed for if you purchase something out of the box. And then if you purchase the entire box, you get a discount. Both companies are very similar in that fact. I've never purchased an entire box, but I've always been able to find at least one thing that I enjoy, um, including this top, which I got from a Stitch Fix box, my very first Stitch Fix box. So without further ado, we're going to open it up. Um, we're gonna, I figure, you know what, I'll probably start with the Stitch Fix box because it came first, so that's only fair, right? <laughs> but one of the reasons why I like these subscription services is um, they have some really cool plus size clothing in them that I am not really all that able to find in the stores. And so it is nice um, to find cute clothes to kind of fill my closet with. Um, for the most part, they have been pretty pricey. I'll tell you that much. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I haven't purchased everything in my boxes. However, um, I have found things that I felt like were worth my um, money. So, I'm opening the Stitch Fix box now with a very sharp knife that I'm not very all that comfortable with. And pardon the comings and goings of the traffic that's part of living where we live. So, <laughs> so this is actually a much bigger Stitch Fix box than my first one. Um, so, I'm not sure. I wonder if some fall stuff might be in here. We'll see. Um, but first and foremost comes your little note from your stylist, but I'm going to wait for that until after um, I actually see what's in here. You also always, always get a return envelope for free return mailing, which is pretty cool from both companies. And both are really cute in how they package their stuff. So let's get to it. go lots of blues it looks like there might even be a sweater in here my guess is my stylist is trying to get me ready for fall which the weather's kind of started to change here in Indiana so that that might be good okay um there ah! we go <laughs> my stuff is flying away okay first things first it looks like it is a dress a maxi dress really pretty burgundy and navy I don't have anything like this in my closet so this could be interesting I'm gonna have to give this a try to see I will say my first impression is I'm a little disappointed that it's this fabric um, 
because I thought I had given feedback that I didn't really care for this type of fabric and I honestly without looking at what I told them exactly it's polyester and spandex but it was like real the last time I tried it it like really clung to me in all the wrong ways so <laughs> so we'll see what it looks like in the maxi dress maybe my stylist um, has um, has uh, knows better than I do but we'll give it a try and see what it's like whenever I try it on okay so that's the first piece oh I like this the second piece is kind of like a, a boat neck um, shirt with a button down the back I told you I've told you before how I love the back details to be different than the front details this is really cute guys and it's black and white stripes which is totally up my alley so we will see what that looks like but I am liking that next appears to be I think she sent me another dress yes interesting this is called a Maryland knit dress okay we shall see again nothing like this in my I do like the cap sleeve that's kind of cute that's, that's kind of cute it'll be interesting what that looks like I do like the pattern it's very similar to the other dress but it's very pretty hmm and this is, or make sure my microphone's still working. Yes. And this, this is a dolman sleeve knit top in gray. It's got interesting sleeves. I'm just going to have to see how, I'm just worried how this is going to hang on my body. It may be super cute. Who knows? We'll have to see. I am a little concerned though. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I got a pair of skinny jeans from a cut from the cloth, which I've tried a pair of their jeans before with um, Dia and Company has sent it to me before. Um, I am a little concerned because they're toothpick skinny, it says. Um, they're in my size or a size that I wear. However, I've not had really good experience with skinny jeans. Um, so, I, mm, this is not what's on my profile. So, we'll see. Maybe she knows something I don't. Um, but as I remember, cut from the cloth is generally pretty expensive. So, this is going to be a really hard sell for me. Unless I, they just fit incredibly. So, we'll see that in a minute but that was my stitch fix box so I'm going to open this up and tell you what my stylist says okay like I said they don't drop by unless I try to talk okay the whole total for that box of clothing was pretty pricey it was three hundred and forty two dollars so with the if I bought everything discount which probably isn't going to happen um, they would deduct money plus my styling fee and then that would bring the total for everything in the box down to two hundred and thirty six fifty cents I'm sharing that because I want to compare that to my dia box whenever we open it up and see so we can see the value kind of um, if it's similar or not so that was my stitch fix box um, I need to see if I had the same stylus this time or someone different I think I had the same stylus this time okay so she sent me the jeans because she was hoping to be a darker wash I don't consider these jeans a dark wash um, I mean they're a medium wash in my opinion um, but I like dark wash that what helps my legs better um, but she also is sending me dresses because I've asked for them and that um, and 
and she also mentions that black knit top, which if it fits will probably be at least one of the items that I keep out of that box. So we will see, oh, I probably need to, I'm gonna keep this up so I can look at it. And I probably need to keep the uh, prepaid envelopes with the correct thing because I wouldn't want to send Stitch Fix's stuff back to Dia and vice versa. That could get pretty awkward. <laughs> okay, so that was Stitch Fix. And I will try these all on in a second. I just want to kind of uh, open and compare, give you my first impressions, and then go try things on and give you my final word of who I think did better this year. Or this, not this year, this month. <laughs> all right, Dia and Company. Now, I have been working, or not working with, none of this is sponsored, by the way. Um, I have been working with a stylist there, Payne, of course. Um, for several months. So Dia has had a little bit longer than um, Stitch Fix to kind of understand me and understand my style. So we shall see if that rings true. They definitely have the advantage. So um, again, they send a mail or two um, and then they have cute little packaging too. And I've got a cute little bundle right here of clothes from Dia. And then they've changed their sticker. So, what are you doing? I need the potatoes. They're canned. They're canned potatoes? Yes. He needs the potatoes. He's going to interrupt now. Sorry. <laughs> he kicks me out and then he comes in and interrupts. I need a kiss. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Okay, so here is the nice little pile of clothes. And we've got a couple pairs of pants, it looks like, one of which was a request. Um, so we'll talk about that here in just a second. But, well, why don't we just talk about it first? Um, I really enjoyed the, I think it's called Mitchell Studios um, pants I got out of my last Dia box. And I told her, oh, I see what she did. I told her, I said, I would really like to see these pants um, in, in solid black. Because they had like a little design on them. And I would have use for a pair of solid black pants. And so, I think I might have told her capris, but she went ahead and sent me pants, which I'm grateful for because I've already found the black capri pants. So, I'm excited. They are very, very, very similar to the other pants that I very much enjoy, except they're long pants, which I actually could use because I don't have any good black dress pants right now. So, we will see if they fit. Um, but I'm excited about this. She listened to me and it was definitely, it's the brand that I wanted, the style that I wanted, um, and then actually um, the, a better length than even what I had asked her for. So, good job. I'm sure, I, I wonder if it's my same stylist. I'm guessing it probably is. Yep, Devin Marie. <laughs> She's been doing great. Um, okay, so next up... Oops. Kind of a fun fall shirt. It's a little see-through, so you definitely have to wear a cami or something under it. I don't know what it's called. We'll have to see. It does have this, um, this at the bottom, which is really good because my bottom half is larger than my top half, which that's some feedback that I've given her that if it's a non-stretchy fabric, I really need that for it to fit right. So, I think it's pretty. Um, we shall see. And then next, ooh, I like this. Okay, I don't know about the tie. Uh, Molly and Isadora. Um, it's a shirt, but it's got this tie thingy on it. So we'll see how that looks on. I'm sure it's supposed to look like a faux wrap or something. I like the color, the orange and the uh, maroon definitely are pretty and will be pretty for fall. I'll have to see what it looks like on. And this 
is another top maybe yes okay it's a maroon top everything seems to be very matchy in my dia box this week this time and it's pretty cool it's got these button details down the front which is kind of interesting I don't know what it'll look like I'm concerned a little bit about the fabric but we'll see what it looks like when I have it on and last but not least she sent me a pair of navy pants oh no navy capris which I don't have which would look cute with the shirt that I'm wearing right now I think I'm guessing she probably sent these to me because she couldn't get the black. Um, but they have a similar feel and look to them as the others. So I will have to try those on to see. So, let's see if I have the price list from them so I can compare. Now, first impressions clothing wise, I'm far more drawn to the clothing out of the Dia box. It feels more my style. which honestly isn't really fair fair to the stitch fix people because i've been working with dia longer to kind of catch my style but i will say that there are several things in my stitch fix box that kind of go against the things that the feedback that i have given them so i'm gonna have to stress that again if i want another stitch fix box like that that one kind of fabric in a dress just sticks to me in the wrong places or maybe it won't this time and then also I'm really concerned about the jeans because they just aren't the style, color, cut, and price point that I want to pay. So we shall see. Okay, so my entire Dia box without the discount is almost the same price as the entire dis uh, box of my Stitch Fix box with the discount, which is a little, I don't know. Um, if I were to get the entire box, I would, of course, get my $20 styling fee back, and then they would also take more money off um, to bring the entire box down to $180. Now, first impressions, I like everything they sent. I don't know what it looks like on. There's nothing that's overly concerning me, so this might be, depending on how it fits, the first time that I go for a full box. Um, but we'll see what it looks like on. I'm very uh, excited to see what it all looks like. Now, I don't think that um, Stitch Fix was a total miss. I have a couple concerns in that box, but once I go in and I try them all on, then we will see who in the, they might surprise me. I might end up liking more out of my Stitch Fix box. So let's go and try things on. Okay guys, so I have on the stripy shirt that I liked the best. I'll show you the back. And I have on the skinny jeans and I will say the skinny jeans while not wholeheartedly sold on them, they're the best skinny jeans I've ever tried on. They're just a little long in the leg. Um, I'm still not completely sold. I'll show you here in just a second that they're my style, but I will say as far as they go, I was kind of surprised that I don't like absolutely hate them. So I'll show you what they look like. But I do really, really, really like the top. So this is a thumbs up and a Hey, not so bad. Now, I will say that I'm guessing that these jeans are way outside of the price range that I'm willing to pay, but I will look at it here at the end, but I do love this top, so good job, Stitch Fix. Okay, so now I have on um, one of the sweaters, or the sweater that came with it. I like the length. I like the back, which has a little line. Um... I'm glad it's loose on me because it does feel a little bit like a clingy kind of fabric. Um, I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to fit here. It kind of feels really big under the arms, but it kind of, I mean, it looks okay. The sleeves are really cute. 
see how they're kind of a longer sleeve. Um, it's not a total miss. It's just not my favorite thing. Like, it'll all come down to price, I think. And if I like the other things in the box enough to buy the whole box. Um, I don't think it looks too bad. But I'm not really sure um, how much it costs without... I do the price sheets at the end. So, I will look through it. But this is what the sweater looks like. Okay, so I'm eating my words. I don't mind this dress too bad, and my husband actually kind of likes it. I like the pattern, and the fabric is loose enough on the bottom that it isn't clinging to me in the ways that I was afraid. Um, so, or at least not as first appears in the wind, it might start doing that. Let me back up and show you the full dress. Um, before I run back inside and try on the last dress from the stitch pick the stitch fix box <laughs> The only thing that makes me pause a little bit on this dress is it poofs, which is fine right here, but the poof feels a little uneven right in the middle, which probably is like the worst. I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Like, I wonder if a belt might help that feel a little bit better. But I do, I like it. I love the color. So that's this dress. There's one more dress in the box before we try on the Dia stuff. Okay, last but not least is this dress from Stitch Fix. It has pockets. It's really cute. I think it might need to be smaller for the top to fit. Um, hang on. People driving by again. <laughs> I keep feeling like it's bunching up on me for some reason and uh, to be completely honest my back end don't need nothing bunching up on it to make it um, it doesn't need any help in that regard so um, I'm not sure I love the cut I love the sleeves it's really cute I think it might be cuter even if it were just a little bit tighter up here because this keeps trying to fall down um, but overall, I will say the Stitch Fix a box fit and looked a lot um, more my style than I actually thought it was going to. So it'll be interesting to see if the Dia box lived up to what my first impressions were. Or if I'm going to have a change of heart and think the Stitch Fix box is better. So I'll be right back with my Dia and Company clothes. Okay, so I have my first Dia and Company outfit on. I have the orange um, Molly and Isadora wrap shirt on. Um, and I think it honestly is just a little too big. I think it's cute. My note from Devin Marie says that the tie could go um, in the front, on the side, or in the back. I'm not sure I like the look of it tied in the back, but I do like it in the front and on the side. I just think the shirt needs to be just a little bit um, smaller because it's not fitting me in the shoulders and so it's kind of a little bit less flattering than I think it could be. But I really like the print and the feel of it. Um, and then I have the Nikki pants on that I had asked them for. Um, they are super super soft and they fit really nicely I have other things by this brand that I really enjoy so I'm very pleased with the pants so I'm very excited about that I'm gonna go try on um, another outfit for you Okay, so I put the last three pieces on together. I don't think um, really they're intended to go together. I think the maroon shirt and the navy pants were intended to go together, but I don't have anything down here to go under this kind of um, see-through navy shirt button-up. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like. I 
love how deep cut the sides are because that allows for my wider hips. Um, I think the shirt's a little big just in general and so um, especially when it comes to the sleeves and stuff. So if I keep this I want to size it down which is no problem. They are really great about sizing stuff down for me. Um, but I love the length and kind of I don't know I would probably wear this with jeans with a different color shirt underneath it maybe um, but I do love it I love the quality I like the way that it feels but again I need to have it sized down so I'm gonna take it off now so you can see the maroon shirt that's underneath it that I actually like a lot better than I thought I was going to I thought oh it's okay but I think it's kind of cute I like the cap sleeve on it or I assume that's what you call it it may not be a cap. I don't know. Um, I like the sleeve on it. And I think it has a shark bite, shark bite front with that button detail. It's very soft and comfortable. And then those blue capris that I think she sent me because my black pants weren't capris. Um, school bus going by now. <laughs> and trucks. Okay. Um, but the, um, blue Capri she sent fit fantastic. I actually love them. They're super comfortable and, um, I think that they work really well underneath this shirt. I really am impressed with all the things she sent me. I'm really excited about it. So now it's time to make some tough decisions. So I'm gonna go put my jeans back on, or maybe, hmm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put my jeans back on and then we'll have decision time. Whew. It's starting to get sunny out here. A little bit hotter than it was earlier. Okay guys, so, Let's talk about what we're going to keep and what we're going to send back. So I have my Stitch Fix price list here. Um, and so I would just want to say, first of all, I felt like the Stitch Fix box ended up being tons better than what my first impressions were. Um, I do have a couple of issues with some things, um, but uh, lots of great feedback. I think she was closer to hitting it than what I even thought she was so um, but let's talk about what has to go back first and foremost I was shocked at how much I actually enjoyed the cut from the cloth um, skinny jeans toothpick skinny in my life I've never worn anything that starts with a toothpick <laughs> <laughs> that is just not how I made but I get it it's the fit and all that kind of stuff but usually whenever I get skinny jeans or super skinny jeans they just they cling so tightly to my calves it becomes un, um, um, very uncomfortable but these fit snug but they um, but they were, weren't uncomfortable so I liked that I liked how they felt I liked how they looked my problem is that the jeans themselves are $88, and that is a lot of money for something that is not going to be, it. I, I like them and I'd wear them, but they would not be the go-to jean because they're just not the style that I'm most comfortable in, and so I just think that that's a lot of money for something that is kind of a outside my comfort zone kind of piece instead of something that I'm just like oh I'm gonna wear those so um, I'm gonna have to tell her that and also I probably would have been even closer to wanting these if they had been the dark denim like I had shared before I find these to be kind of a medium denim um, maybe I don't know denim colors but I have most of my denim is way darker than this and I just feel like it's more flattering on me so I like them I like them way better than I thought when I first saw them but I don't like them at $88 so they're going back let's double check the bag to make sure it does a stitch fix on it yes so I don't send the wrong clothes back to the wrong people that would be bad okay so the jeans are going back my goodness. If 
I can fit them in the back. Okay, so next up is this dress, which I like and I'm kind of on the fence about because it, my husband liked it a lot. Um, I don't have a ton of maxi dresses and I definitely don't have these colors and I could wear this on into fall and even winter with a cardigan, I'm sure. Um, I'm not sure. What do you guys think about the maxi dress? Did you like it? Um, I thought it was kind of, I thought it was kind of cute. Um, so I'm on the fence about this. So you guys are going to have to tell me what you think about this. Um, the next dress I really liked. I felt like it was a little big um, and I could get it sized down, but I do have an issue with it which will keep me from purchasing it. Um, it has a liner in it that doesn't go all the way down. I don't know if I can show you. Woo! The wind is blowing now. This liner, which is really nice because I think it helps everything lay up top the right way, but it doesn't go all the way down or even on into the skirt. And I don't know if it's bunching up somehow or if it's just how the pleats are, but in the back, like I wish it was just straight in the back and it didn't have pleats because I like the pleats in the front, but in the back it just kind of like, it can get, like when I was moving around it was bunching up on me and it's the more expensive of the two dresses and even though I do feel like it's super nice quality and it's beautiful, I just don't, I have lots of dresses that I love now that I'm not going to pay, um, pay the price, at pay, pay for a dress that kind of isn't setting right, like pay a premium for a dress that isn't setting right on me. So it's going to go back. I'm, I'm not even sure really what to tell them. I don't know if it's, I don't know what's wrong with it really, but it's just not fitting right. So, um, I felt like it looked pretty on. I'd probably want to go down a size, but other than that, it just, it wasn't there. I wasn't comfortable in it. And I've learned, um, through having these boxes that when you don't feel comfortable, that's a sign to send it back. Okay. This is that sweater. Um, that I was like, kind of like, ah, it's okay. I like it. You know, if I was in love with everything in the box, I would probably just go ahead and buy the box and take the sweater, but I'm not going to, like, this isn't something that if I were to try it on in the store, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I gotta have that. So this is definitely going back, um, because I'm not keeping the rest of the box. I like how soft it is. I'm not crazy about the colors. They just, they... I'm a warmer color person, and I feel like I'm kind of getting cooler colors into me, which is fine. Um, but, um, like, I, a lot of times when I open my boxes, I think, oh my gosh, Lou would love all this stuff because Aunt Lou loves blues and purples and all that kind of stuff. And I'm learning to like a lot of them, but it, it's just very interesting <laughs> that those are the colors um, that come in my boxes. So anyhow, um, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I liked the back seam. I liked how the sleeves, uh, the end of the sleeves were. I didn't like how they felt under the arms. So it's gonna go back. Now for the piece that I'm definitely keeping. I fell in love with this the second I saw it. This is the back. Um, this stripey uh, quarter, three quarter length shirt. Totally my style, fits perfectly. I love the way it feels. I love the way I feel in it. I think it's great. So it is definitely a piece that I'm going to keep from my box. Um, and then I'm on the fence with the dress. So you guys will have to tell me if you thought the dress, um, what if, if you think I should keep the dress, okay? So it's kind of on the fence right now. So let's set it, those things over there, and talk about my Dia box. Now, I'm currently wearing the last outfit I had on. I have the blue capri pants on and the, um, the maroon or, or wine colored shirt. I'm not sure what color they technically say. Um, so I'll tell you what maybe my least favorite item was in the box and 
um, and then we'll we'll go on with the rest of it. So my least favorite piece was was this, and it wasn't necessarily the piece's fault. I just think it's the wrong size. I love the color. Um, I love the the print, and I think um, if it were the right size, I'd really like the tie because I tend to like my waist kind of cinched in. I just think it was falling on me in the wrong way. Um, I like how the seam goes down the back. I think it's a really unique piece and I think it's one of those pieces that um, at least I think about whenever I think about these clothing subscription um, services that these are the kinds of things that I um, don't feel like I have easy access to and so when I see something like this I really gravitate towards it and I like it. I just need it in a smaller size. So even if I keep it, it will have to go back so I can get the smaller size. Um, the other thing that I um, want in a smaller size is this um, navy blue, um, I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's called the Arizona blouse, which is what she told me to pair with my black pants. But I don't know. Do you mix blue and black? Often. I don't. I usually keep blue with blue. But anyhow, that's not the point. <laughs> my, my point is I love this shirt. I just think it's too big. So I'm going to send it back and ask them to send me it in a smaller size too. I don't know if they'll have a smaller size. So I'll have to ask them about that. Um, I really like how the, um, the V is cut. Um, so we'll have to see. I don't know, because it's already a 1X. I don't know if they have a smaller, if they'll have a smaller size. Hmm. Anyhow, I really liked it. Um, I may have to, what did you guys think about it? I think it probably looked a little bit odd the way that I tried it on for you, because I didn't have like, I think it would look really cute with a white t-shirt under it and um, a pair of jeans. Um, so I'll have to see. I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna have to try it on again and see, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the blue button-up shirt. So there's that. The black pants, the Nikki, I think they're called Nikki plant pants, um, from Mitchell Studios, I loved. I loved them as well as the um, navy capri pants that I'm also wearing. So. I am on the fence about keeping that whole box and getting the discount because I did like all the pieces. I just might need to resize a couple of the pieces and ask them for different sizes. But um, I think that it was a hit across the board um, for the colors and the look and the um, just, I think things like the colors are one of the example minus the orange not colors that I would normally pick out for myself. Um, the styles are the styles that I'm really enjoying. So very big thumbs up to, um, excuse me, to uh, Dia and Company, or Dia and Co. I really did enjoy this box. Um, I will say though, of all the pieces that I tried on today, my very favorite thing actually came from Stitch Fix. This is the thing that I enjoy the most out of both boxes. So they both kind of win a little bit, I think for honing in on what works for me. Um, Diaz had more practice and I think they're really hitting it and getting an idea of it. Um, but we shall see, we'll, sh we'll see what um, Stitch Fix does with my feedback from this last time. So, so that was my comparison of Stitch Fix versus D Stitch Fix Plus Size versus Dia and Co. Um, if you like these kinds of videos and you like me, I don't know that I'll always be able to show you both of them. They just happen to come at the same time this time, so I thought it might be neat to do them both at the same time with you guys. But if you liked, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Help me decide, let me know if you like that maxi dress or not. Um, and then help me decide, should I keep those blouses that I'm not, I'm, should I go for the whole box? What did you think? Did you like um, my Dia and Co box? Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. I love that you guys um, got to spend 
um, today shopping with me and um, we'll be back in the kitchen cooking up some crock pot recipes um, I'm sure in just a few days so uh, we'll see you guys later bye bye okay so I have my first no one drives by when I'm not talking did I shut you off I didn't shut you off I'm so sorry